Hey, what's going on, everyone? No Zoop for you here, and I'm going to be discussing the woes of destroyers today. Well, not not the woes of destroyers. Uh, pretty much how to fix things moving forward for World Warships. Uh, given all the issues that the game's having right now with permaspotting and everything else, and the introduction of the USN hybrid battleships. And what, what you're catching up on right now is the opening minutes of a round that I played the other day. Yes, it's the Kamikaze R. I decided to do a little seal clubbing just because, you know, I love doing that. And um, this was actually a fun round. You know, double aircraft carriers, bottom tiered. It just goes to show that even if you're bottom tiered, if you're in a good ship and you know what you're doing, you can still do really, really well. So you can see right here, I'm using my terrain to my advantage. I I assumed, uh, you know, CV players are a mixed bag. You come across some really, really good ones, especially in the high tiers, and then you come across some just really average and mediocre CV players. So, you know, I figured that if I hugged the terrain, if I hugged these islands, I would be less likely to be spotted because a lot of CV players, what they do is they'll just make a beeline straight to the end of the map or they're going to go down channels you know they're going to head right to sea and head down the channel a lot of cv players for some reason are very adverse to sending their airplanes uh over islands which would have detected me very early so you can see my first rounds uh my <laughs> one of my first salvos headed towards this emile bertan and <laughs> he's he's dead there's not much he can do about it uh, and that's the first devastating strike of this round. So, you know, the, the first two videos of this week, I lamented the fact that these USN battleships were coming to the round. Um, very upset with the current uh, direction of the game. Not very happy how things are, especially for certain classes, uh, mainly destroyers. I, I feel right now destroyers have it very, very, very rough. And you see right here, I just get spotted randomly by a uh, U-69 that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. And I'm going to try to avoid that. I'm not even going to bother going after him as a destroyer. Uh, again, my tip for all you destroyer players out there, you destroyer mains, don't even bother going after submarines. I unless one happens upon you and right below you, I wouldn't even bother with them. And right now my big concern is I am out in the open. I decided to go CV hunting just because they were a good opportunity. And I got to the other end of the map pretty quick and undetected. But this AOBA right here is going to be an issue. So... I'm going to have to deal with him first. I'm going to get some shots out on this Ryujo that, that's just kind of sitting there. So what what are my fixes? What do I think will fix the impending permaspotting doom that I keep saying is going to happen? And, you know, it might not happen. It might not. You know, we might get lucky and these USN battleship hybrids that come in, players might decide not to play them at all. And, you know, I'm raising an alarm for no reason. But I, I already think there are enough issues for destroyer mains that... You know, it, it bears uh, talking about. I mean, it, it has gotten harder with submarines and everything else. And I think it's only going to continue to get harder as submarines become a tech tree line that all players are going to get and have in their, um, their fleet and not just randomly for testing periods. And there goes the Ryujo, uh, second devastating strike. Now, I'm going to have to worry about this Aoba right now. I'm going to use my smoke to my advantage. He's charging in. Uh, he's very worried, worried about me. He's concerned about me. He should be because I've already crushed two of his ships right now. So he's probably coming after me. But what he doesn't know is another Aoba has come in kind of to my rescue. He saw an opportunity. And this Aoba's mistake is he's going after him instead of me, which I'm very, very low health. He should have focused on me rather than this other Aoba. I'm going to curl around and use the smoke to my advantage again and get these torps off. These are going to miss him, though. You see right now, both Aobas are kind of locked in a gunfight with each other. And this is allowing me to sneak in using my smoke once again to my advantage uh, to get up really close while this Aoba is not even paying attention. And at this, at this range right here, there's really no way that I can miss. And he's still focused on him. Out come my torpedoes for my third devastating strike of the round. And I'm going to pop back into the smoke right here to break uh, concealment from everything else. I'm going to move forward. So how would I fix the situation now that USN hybrids are coming into the game? I, I think it's very easy. I, I think that there is an easy solution. And it's just don't allow those aircraft to spot 
DDs. Uh, just take spotting capability away from them. And maybe from DDs only. I mean, I, I think they should be able to spot cruisers and battleships, but if you really want to help destroyers, either take away their spotting capability or make it so low that they're only going to be able to see them once they're right over them. And I think that would help destroyers a lot uh, with that line coming in. And this is going to become a cat and mouse game between myself and the Dallas right here. Uh, Dallas is pushing me away from the CV. He knows I'm an imminent threat. So what he's going to do is he's going to try and hunt me down. And what I want to do is I want to sneak past him so I can go after that aircraft carrier that is now slowly making its way towards A1 because he knows that he's kind of screwed right now. Uh, I've already got three kills. I, I do plan on sinking this Dallas, given the chance, but this player seems to know what he's doing, or at least have a decent idea of what he's doing, so I'm going to give him a wide berth right now while lobbing torpedoes at him to try and get lucky and uh, get a dev strike on him. So, yeah, I, I am concerned about these hybrid battleships coming into the game. I, I do think they are going to pose a problem, especially when they first come out, because you know every player gravitates towards new ships, Every player is going to want to play with them. And unless there's hard caps, and that's the other thing that Wargaming can do. They can add hard caps to these ships so that, you know, let, let's say those can only be in the round if there are no CVs. Or, uh, I, I don't know, one CV and one um, hybrid battleship, but no submarines. You know, they have to do something about matchmaking. Because the more these ships that get in, it's going to make it a lot harder for destroyer mains. And and let's face it, destroyers they they have a lot, <laughs> they've got a lot of work to do. They're 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 a heavy workload ship. You got to focus on screening for your team. You got to focus on spotting. You got to focus on dodging just about everything that's going to shoot at you when you get lift uh, lit up. And you can see right now, I'm making that turn. I'm I'm sneaking around the backside of this Dallas. I'm lobbing torpedoes. He has an idea where I'm at only because I'm still slinging torps at him. If, if I really wanted to confuse him, I could stop slinging torps completely, but uh, that's not me. I want to destroy this guy. I want to sink him. So I'm going to keep lobbing torps at him and see if I can get lucky and, you know, find something. And he's going in the opposite direction right now, and he's probably going to change direction once he sees these torps coming. Because, again, torpedoes are like very slow tracers. They point both ways. They tell the enemy where you're at. So I, I really think hard caps and matchmaking uh, need to be a solution in the coming future uh, just for the sanity of destroyer mains because again they're they're very quickly becoming a feast or famine ship and it, it almost seems that gone are the days of you know spotting destroyers and torp destroyers uh, to the point that it almost seems that uh, it's it's a lot more um, it, there, there's a lot more benefit to playing uh, straight up gunboats because you can sit in the back and you can just sling HE or AP now or SAP, um, you know, because a lot of destroyers, not a lot, but some destroyers are having SAP. And um, here this Dallas turns into me because he thinks he has an idea where I'm at. So very quickly, destroyers are losing their function as a frontline spotting and capping ship as players gravitate towards these gunboat DDs to kind of stick in the back with the rest of the team and get off the front line just because being on the front line is too dangerous. And I don't think that's healthy for the game either. And there goes Dallas. He's wandering right into these torps. And there's another devastating strike. <laughs> Four devastating strikes right now. And then Ranger has just come into view right now. So uh, I'm going to make full speed towards him and try and get to him before the rest of the team does. I've, I've got Kraken in my sights right now. And I would really like it. These destroy, or uh, excuse me, these uh, aircraft carriers messed up this round. Uh, they really should have focused me, especially after I sank that second ship. They should have realized, okay, they've got a Kamikaze R. Um, we really need to focus this destroyer down and make sure he gets taken out of the round. But they did not. So uh, if you're a carrier player and the other team has a Kamikaze R or a Fujin or any ship like that, uh, no matter what tier you are, you have to make sure that you get him out of the round, him or her. You have to make sure that you focus the hell out of that destroyer and just make sure it gets spotted and taken out. Because if you don't, if the player knows what he's doing, and most likely if they have a comic because they are, they do, they're just going to wreak havoc on you, as I did. Uh, so I, I think in the high tiers, we, we really need to make sure that 
you know, Wargaming has to make sure that they put limits on things. I, I would decrease the spotting capabilities of this hy these hybrid USNBBs. Again, I don't think they're going to be overpowered per se. I mean, Kearsarge is not overpowered per se. But I think what it's going to add to the game is going to make it even harder for destroyers, which are already feeling the pain from everything else. You know, the radar was just the beginning of it, and Russian radar, I think, needs to be paired back at this point, too, with all this spotting that's being added to the game. 12.5 radar should not be a thing at this point. Uh, again, I, I really feel destroyers are hurting right now. They're in pain. There's a lot going on that makes players not want to play destroyers anymore, and that's unfortunate because they're a very fun class of ship. They're an important class of ship. Uh, they do a lot for the team. They protect the team. But, you know, when you've got a CV, you've got two submarines, uh, and now you've got these hybrid battleships in the round, you know, that that's two random spotters, one that has, and two that has the ability to perma-spot. I mean, it's like, what what can you do? And I'm going to get, I'm going to get the crack in here. These torps are going to hit home. And that, that was a very, very fun round. I enjoyed it a lot. Of course, anytime in a Kamikaze R, I enjoy it. Uh, anytime I'm in. <laughs> it's, it's my go-to ship to have a fun time. And, uh, yeah, a little unfair, but, you know, it's a good pick-me-up. So, anyhow, those are my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts on how to fix things. Uh, take it easy. I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.